Hello, everybody, and welcome to our coverage of the Danvers election. I'm Greg Dolan. I'm the executive director here at DCAT, and I'm joined by... Ben Thomas, the ex education and government coordinator here at DCAT. So this is the first for us. We've never done live election coverage, as far as I know, and it's going to be pretty exciting because yeah. the polls just closed at 8 o'clock, and we have a reporter on site, Gail Bartlett, who many of you know is over there, and she's going to have some interviews for us tonight, and she's going to be... Um, just kind of catching the scene as it happens. And Ben and I are here to sort of talk you through what the election was all about, what positions are up, what people are running for, and we're expected to have the results, the unofficial results sometime within the hour for sure. Yeah, within the next 15 to 30 minutes. So I'm pretty excited about it. I, uh, I know that some, not all of the races are contested. Some of the bigger ones, the selectmen, there's no contested race this year. Nope. And likewise with the school committee, yep. there's no contested, I mean, without write-ins, obviously, there's yes. always the possibility. But as far as on the ballot, there's no official contested election. So the ones that are contested, just to recap, the library trustees, there are four candidates running for three positions, and that's a three-year term. In town meeting precinct four, there are nine candidates running for six seats, and that's a three-year term. And there's also two candidates running for one one-year term. And we'll get into that a little bit later about why there's one-year terms and three-year terms on the same ballot. Um, and then the other contested one is Precinct 5 for town meeting. Uh, there are eight candidates for six seats. That's a three-year term. And then four going for two two-year term positions. So uh, even though there might not be as much, as many contested elections as usual, town meeting is obviously incredibly important. And I know that people are out there wondering and want to see who wins. Yes. So we're, we're going to be the first ones to bring it to you. Um, so, Ben, you and I were over there today. How would you categorize the... The turnout and sort of the general feel during the afternoon when we were over there. Well, we went about 11 o'clock, I think. Yeah. So, and it was, there was people there. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a tremendous flow of people, but there were, there were people. Yeah, it was, it was nice that we had, there were some candidates out there with their signs. Um, I'd say there was a steady trickle of people. And that was sort of seems fair. midday and it wasn't lunchtime either. So it, it wasn't like, we were definitely not there at a prime time when we were going to set up. Mm -hmm. So I was curious about whether or not, honestly, there'd be many people at all coming in, and I, I was I was surprised. And yeah, there seemed like a fair turnout considering not a lot of contested races. And the other thing is there are a lot of volunteers over there. I know that people spend a lot of time um, making sure this goes off without a hitch. So I, I just want to thank all them. I'd like to thank Joe Collins yep. for helping us out in this process. I know the police were over there, so thank you to the Danvers Police for... Um, you know, keeping everything safe, keeping everything going, directing traffic, making sure people know where to go. They were able to do this while students were in session at Danvers High, which yeah. I was impressed that they could do that. Yeah, because I think for bigger elections, they will they will shut down school, which makes sense because it's yeah. a lar yeah, large amount of people coming. But um, there's a whole lot of prep that goes into actual election running smoothly. So yeah, and what, so one of the one of the groups of volunteers is actually uh, a group that was handing out reusable bags because, as you may have heard. There is a, uh, a ban coming up on June 1st for single-use plastic bags. So there was a group out there, and what they were doing was handing out these bags. So if you're at the election, when June 1st comes, you have an option. You don't have to go out and buy your own bag. That was sponsored by East Boston Savings Bank uh, in coordination with the town. So we were actually able to go over and film a little piece with them where they talked about the story of sort of how this whole, how the the initiative came to be, mm -hmm. uh, some of the people behind it. So thank you to the people you'll see in a minute on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut to that clip, and then we're going to go right over to Gala at the high school, and I believe she has an interview with one of the candidates for library trustee, who I'm sure is eagerly awaiting word on the results. So if we're ready, we can cut to that clip. Hello, Danvers viewers. Uh, last year at town meeting, we had a bylaw um, proposal to ban plastic bags in Danvers and that passed almost overwhelmingly at town meeting and that plastic bag ban goes into effect this June 1st. So the citizens petition actually came to us from a group called the Earth Stewards associated with one of the churches downtown and they approached me one time actually at a private residence and asked that I as a selectman would support this initiative and I said, by all means, please bring it to the Board of Selectmen. We endorsed it, and Steve Bartha had town council write up the bylaw that we could take to town meeting. Now, to help promote it, my friend Nancy Hathaway at the East Boston Savings Bank and I discussed what we could do to help promote it, and she decided to ask her bank to donate 2,000 bags to give out to residents to promote the plastic bag ban, and after we initiated that, we passed it off to our town manager, 
and staff to implement. And uh, Town Manager Steve Bartha. Uh, as Selectman Ben just mentioned, um, the, the bag ban uh, was a partnership that started with concerned citizens who came to the Board of Selectmen with the idea of doing a citizen's petition to ban them. Um, the Board really liked the idea and, and made it their own and put it on the warrant. Uh, it was passed overwhelmingly by town meeting. And then uh, staff was tasked with making sure that the process went smoothly, it was edu education happened, um, and that the businesses um, were, were able to plan in advance for it. So we had about a full year between the time that the town meeting uh, passed the bylaw um, and the go live day, which is this coming June. Um, and we had uh, a small committee of staff. We had uh, Assistant Health Director Mark Carleo, Assistant Town Manager Jim Breaker, and uh, Gail Bernard from our Public Works Department, who worked closely with the Earth Stewards um, to, to find a way to get press releases out and to make sure that the businesses knew what was coming. And I think as, as the Selectman mentioned on the table behind me, uh, we have a, quite a few bags from Eastern Boston Savings Bank that were donated, I think several thousand, um, for residents who came to vote today to take with them. And uh, there you go, to use uh, uh, when they're shopping in Danvers. Um, so it's really nice, you know, we can only do so much as the, as the local government, and so when the private sector uh, you know, comes up with these great ideas and you know, volunteers and, and businesses working together, I think we can have real impact. So, um, And off camera is one of the interns who's been dutifully sitting here today and making sure that voters take these bags with them. I believe the scouts may be making an appearance or may have already made an appearance to support that as well. So it's just a, a neat project that's going to have a real impact. Uh, so I'm Mark Carleo um, from Danvers Town Hall and here helping uh, raise some awareness that as of June 1st, there will be no more plastic checkout bags here in town. Um, if you have any specific questions about that, feel free to get in touch with me. Uh, my contact info is at our website at danversma.gov. Um, and other than that, I just want to uh, thank everybody who's uh, helped out and volunteered to be a part of this from East Boston Savings Bank who donated a couple thousand bags uh, for us to hand out as a part of this awareness, as well as the Builders Club and the various interns and other volunteers that have, uh, that have helped out. Right now with me, I have Deb Sauer. You ran. You're here. You're waiting I to did. see. I'm if you excited won for to find out the trustee. results. Yeah, I'm excited to find All out right. the results. So now, why did you decide to run for library trustee? Well, I love the library. That's the first thing I did when I moved to Danvers was get my library card 25 years ago. Great. I'm a regular patron, and uh, there's a lot of changes happening at the library. Um, you can get take out instruments and sewing machines and right. see lots of good things coming, and I want to be a part of it. Which is wonderful. So we definitely. Um, wish you luck. It looks like they've posted three of the precincts so far. Um, mm -hmm. Tonight they're going to post all the precincts and they'll do library trustee. I can't tell where that one is in the mix, but looking forward to seeing you and see yeah. how you did. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. It's exciting. So um, Greg and Ben, very exciting, like I said, but it looks like they're posting the results. So we're going to throw right back to you um, so you guys can get ready because when we come back, we're going to have the results for this contested race for um, library trustee and several of the precincts. So make sure you come right back to us. Great. Thank you, Gala. Um, that's exciting. The results are already coming. So as soon yeah. as those are ready, we're going to jump on over to them. So just really quickly, I just wanted to explain a little bit more about what was on the ballot. Because if you, if you went and voted today, you actually only saw one of a potential eight ballots, mm -hmm. correct? Because there's yeah. eight precincts, so there, for each one, there's actually eight separate ballots. Yeah, because you can only vote for the people in your precinct. Yeah, and then you obviously have the other races, which would be selectmen, school committee, everyone gets those, but you only see your own precinct. So what we wanted to do was just show you everyone that was running, so that way if you um, hadn't seen it and you weren't aware of the people in town who are running, maybe you know someone on the list and who runs in a different precinct. Uh, and the other thing I want to talk about before we cut over to this really quickly is why you see some three-year terms and some one-year terms. Do you think yeah. you could explain that? Yeah, so for town meeting, there's eight There's eight precincts. There's 18 um, town meeting members per precinct. So every year, six new people go up for re-election. 
Um, so it's a three-year cycle, but sometimes if people leave early, if they leave town, something like that, then those positions have to be filled for the smaller yeah. term. And even, uh, I didn't realize, if you move within town and you move out of your precinct, you can run in one of the other precincts as well. Yeah, because you can't represent your precinct if you don't aren't there. So that was kind of an interesting thing. So what we wanted to do is just before these official announcements get out there, I know Gayla's over there now getting the results. We're just going to cut and show you all the ballots, who was running, who the incumbents were. That way it gives a little context to the winners when we go to them. So if that clip is ready, we are ready for the ballot. So we're just going to jump over to that one sec. There it is. So after this is going to go to Gala. That's going to go to Oscar sure Gala. All right, so that is the list of the people who are running. There, oh, there, there's a couple of errors there. Um, don't worry, if you didn't see your name on that, your name was on the actual ballot. So you're still in the race. It just um, didn't make the cut of our um, our ballot piece there. So my mm -hmm. apologies. Uh, so one of the things we were going to talk about a little bit, well, first of all, I just want to say, if you're waiting for the results, I'm just waiting on word from Gayla that they're ready to go. Last we heard from her about five minutes ago, she said they would be ready soon. So as soon as we get word, we'll cut right back on over and we'll give you the results of all the contested races and um, all the other races, just so you know. Um, so one of the things, if, if you didn't vote in this election or you couldn't vote in this election because you didn't have the opportunity to register, we had a few interns out who, who did a piece on um, how to register to vote. Yep. Cause because... It yeah, well, you and me are speaking, and I don't remember how I registered to vote because it, yeah, it was a long eight time years ago. ago, so there's a whole new world. So if you don't know how to register to vote, and it was interesting talking to them, too, because they're all um, seniors in high school, so they're 17 18. 17, 18 years old, and they're getting to the point where they would be sort of the next group to register, and we wanted to make sure that we got the word out to that group through them to, uh, to jump and know how to, how to get out there and vote, because there's a lot of elections coming up. There's some bigger ones, obviously, in the next few years, so if you're wondering, if you're out there and you're not sure how to register to vote, we have a little clip right now that you can watch and learn, so you can jump to that. Thank you. Community Access Television, and today we're here to tell you about how to register to vote. 
There's three ways you can register. You can register online, send in by mail, or in person. If you'd like to do any of those, you always have to fill out a form. The form can be found on the Secretary of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts website, and you can find that by looking up how to register to vote. Once on his website, you can fill out a form to register to vote. If you have an RMV license, you can register to vote online and submit it, and you'll be able to vote. But if you do not have that, you have to mail in the form by printing it out, or print it out and bring it to your local town hall. The address of the town hall is 1 Sylvan Street, which is also where you can mail it. You're all done. You can vote in local elections, the general election. Have fun voting. Hi. Okay. So we're here. We are um, live back at DCAT. So we actually have the results. So I'm not sure. I think David, we should probably just take a look. Can we can we stroll with the camera and go over and just read the results for our precincts that were in competition? I think we should do that, David. I think we're going to take a little tour, David. All right. Let's go ahead and take a. We're gonna. We're live with DCAT right now. Julie, congratulations. No, I said congratulations. So this is Julie Curtis. She ran for um, library trustee. So it looks like looks like you won. Am I correct? These are unofficial results, but you're one of the one of the um, people on the board. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very excited. Yes, I am. I'm very tired. She's very tired. She's been out there handing out brochures and campaigning all day. So thank you for your service and thank you for continuing to support Danvers in the community. I so, listen. Um, we have an open time before meetings, and we encourage people to come to our meetings. We meet the second Wednesday of every month. As a matter of fact, we're meeting, ne you know, tomorrow. Great. So we encourage people to come to the meetings. Good. And, we appreciate you know, that. Yeah, we want to see you. Well, thank you so much, Julie. Have a great yeah, night. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. So we're going to read our poll winners now. So we had some. We know we had some controversy in some of the different precincts, so we are going to go over here to Precinct 5. I know we had questions about Precinct 5, so we'll take a journey. So Precinct 5, if I can find our right precinct, we'll be doing pretty good. Precinct 5. Did we let me go past 5? I'm going one more. Our town manager's over there shooing me in the right direction, so thank you, Mr. Barth. I appreciate that. So we get me to the right one so I'm not reading them wrong. Precinct 6, Precinct 5. Okay. So the winners of fun time for technical difficulties. <laughs> so we're we're going to jump right back on the gala. She's just telling it up. Um, that video will be available any second now. That was, you really can't plan it better or worse than that. So as soon as we see that feed is back up, which should be any second now, we'll jump over and get those unofficial results for you. So we're doing good. And then we have Charles Antonio Bentoncourt. All right. And then, ah, then it looks like we had Rick Bentoncourt. So tight race there, a couple of Bentoncourts. And we're going to move right on. So I think we also had precinct. What was our other contested? I believe precinct three was contested as well. So we're going to move right on. David's loving that I'm moving him. And if you could come right over here, sir. Thank you so much. So you're precinct five. Mm -hmm. And your name is? Uh, Dan Gagnon. Right. And you were one of the winners, right, for your precinct? Yes. Yes. And this is your second term? My second, yes. Great. So can you tell us why you decided you wanted to be a town meeting member? Definitely. Uh, it seemed like a great way to be involved in the community. Um, and additionally, I felt as a, a younger person in town, it would be good to have more people my age um, involved right. in town meeting. When I was first elected, I was the youngest member. I don't wow. think that's true anymore, um, which great. is a good thing. Um, yeah, but uh, thanks to all who came out. Thanks to all who voted for me. Um, and hopefully next time we can get an even, an even bigger turnout. Great. Well, thank you so much for serving, and thank you for your support of the town of Danvers. We appreciate it, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a great night. Um, again, as you can just see how exciting it is, they're already breaking down the set from today. People are here counting and, and doing their tolls. So when we get to library trustee, um, that was also another hot spot. And as you can see, it looks like the incumbents won for the evening. 
Natalie Fiore, Frank Hershey, Julie Curtis. It looks like those are the three that won. Um, that was a heated, contested race. Always exciting to have a little mix in there and have people who haven't run before run. That's what town politics is about. So we're very excited that we had some new people out and voting. And don't forget, we also did our wonderful bags. The bag initiative starts on June 1st. So we're going to go to Precinct 5. Moving right along. So right over here, Precinct 5, you know we just spoke to one of the winners, which was very exciting. So Precinct 5, we have Daniel Gagne. We have, yeah, we read Precinct 5 already. Okay, so we're going to do Precinct 5. As you know, we just spoke with one of the winners. Um, we have Daniel Gagnon, who I believe was the person, one of the ones we just spoke to. We also had him at 114 votes. We have Sharon McManus at 95. And then we're going to go to 87, which is Daniel Michael Hagan. And, and he's right there. He's over there checking poll numbers as we speak. He's helping you at. We're adding everything up. We work together. 85 is Charles Dame Jr. So one, two, three, right? We have four. Um, and then we had Matt, we had the Benton Courts both won. So we had Antonio and Richard. So great event here. Um, so excited to have you here. Again, my name is Gayla, and on behalf of myself and David, it's been our pleasure to bring you here live to Danvers High School for the results. Everybody, so we're, we're going to go back and recap those results in one minute. We're getting them hot off the presses, and if you've ever been over there and looked at how they're laid out, it's a little complicated. So <laughs> thank you, Gayla, for getting through. I hope that the people who are wondering who won could see. Uh, if not, we will have them up on cable shortly, so you'll be able to see all the results put up there. Uh, and we'll also um, do another recap just so we know exactly who the winners were for this. So before we get to that point, I just thought it was interesting because, you know, you get elected – to as a town meeting representative and the town meeting is actually right around the corner so these people are going to be to work yep right in, away uh, 13 days 13 days so there's a lot to catch up on and if you're if you're sort of not sure how town government functions you know town meeting is the big business meeting of the year but there's a lot that leads up to it and if you're interested in how that works you know you can always go to the meetings or you can watch them on our channels mm -hmm. uh, catch them online for us and that way you can be informed and when town meetings coming up or people are running for seats for town government positions, be they town meeting representatives or selectmen, school, you, you're informed and you know where people stand and, and how town government functions because it is yeah. a sort of 365 day. Yeah, it's a whole process where they have to come up with the budget and then there's the budget review by the board selectmen, then the FinCom goes over the budget and then the warrants come out. So there's warrant review with the uh, board selectmen, then with the FinCom. So it's a whole process to get to this point. Absolutely. So we're going to do really quick is just because town meeting is so close and it's such a big deal for the town. We're just going to, we had a few of our interns put together a video, I think, or it was just Kylie, put together a video. I want to yep. credit where it's due, showing what the uh, town meeting warrant articles are and what's going to be coming up in 13 days. 13 so days. Uh, as soon as that clip's ready, we're good to go. All right, so thank you to Kylie for putting that together. That's yeah. that's a big one. That'll be broadcast live on the cable channels for us. So if yep. you're not a, if you're not able to make it, you will be able to watch it at home and sort of see how all this goes down because it is such an important meeting. Yeah, and those are all the titles of the articles. They all have descriptions in the yeah. actual warrant of what they are. But if we did that, it would take 20 minutes. So yeah, we just the whole piece would be the warrant. Do the easy part. 
great. So, um, Jen, could you just give me a thumbs up? Does it look like Gala's ready to go? Or no? Okay, so I think that um, we're just going to break for now yeah. and catch you guys next time. We'll have the full results as soon as we get them sent over. We'll get them posted on the cable channels. If you have any questions, you can just let us know. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Greg Dolan. I'm the director here. and Ben Thomas. All right. Thanks again. It's been great. Bye, everybody. Have a good night.